Right, as we continue to look at 1 in 50,000 maps, today we are going to have a look at contours. Contours are an important feature of the 1 in 50,000 map, which, strictly speaking, should be called the 1 in 50,000 topographic series, and topography referring to the shape of the land. And the shape of the land on the 1 in 50,000 map is depicted through contours. Now here in the northeast corner of the Harrismith map we have Harrismith Mountain and if we slowly zoom in we can see clearly the contours showing the shape of the mountain. Where the contours are very close together the slopes are very steep. Where the contours are further apart the slopes are very gentle. So next to the dam there in the middle you can see where it says Gibson, then there are no contours there at all, so um, in that area there the land is just about flat. Okay, so let's have a look what happens when we superimpose a photograph over the contour map. As you follow the dot, you'll see that it's going along the cliff. You can see the dark shadow of the cliff there where the contours are touching. Then there's a bit of a valley going up to the north, and again the dot is going along the cliff line. If we cross over to the other side of the ridge, we see there that the contours are not touching and there's no dark shadow from the cliff, but there is a still a very steep slope. The contours that we can see here are in two groups. There are the light contours. There, there. See, there are about one, two, three, four light colored contours between two dark ones. And again, one, two, three, four light colored ones between two dark ones. And that is just a, a simple indication that the light colored ones are showing heights 20 meters apart and the dark colored ones are showing heights 100 meters apart. So in other words, from there up to there, vertically is 100 meters. And then from there to there is 20, there to there is 20, and that adds up to 100 meter difference. This number here is the height of that particular contour. So we can use that number to work out the height of that one and the other ones around it. So if we just have a bit of a closer look as to what that number is, we can see that it is 1980. That's 1980 meters. And then the other way we show heights on these 1 in 50,000 maps is by spot heights. So 2279 meters, 2328 meters. Now the difference of course is that this is an exact height at that point and the contour is a height anywhere along that line. So if you walk all the way along that contour you will be neither going up or down, you will be going horizontally. And the contours are an exact whole number apart, i.e. 20 meters. So if this is 1980 and you're going uphill in this direction, then that's going to be 2000. And this one will be 1960, 1940. So that gap between the contours in terms of the height difference is called the contour interval. That's got nothing to do with the horizontal distance between the contours. Here, for instance, is a very big horizontal distance between these two contours, um, and that's got nothing to do with the numbers. The numbers indicate the vertical height, and then the distance between the contours tells us how steep it is. Right, so over here where the contours are close together, between there and there, that's about half a centimeter. We see, put the ruler on it there. So in half a centimetre, on a 1 in 50,000 map, that's 250 metres, the contours are changing from 2,000 through 2,100 to 2,200 metres. So in half a centimetre, or 250 metres, it's going up 200 metres. That's a pretty steep slope. Whereas over here, in the same half a centimetre, um, say from there to there, it's going up one, two contours, in other words, 20 meters, 40 meters. So 40 meters vertically and 250 meters horizontally. That's not nearly as steep a slope. 
Okay, so let's have a more detailed look at how contours work and the rules for drawing them and understanding them, and then we will come back to the map to interpret what the contours mean.